seeing the Mega Man come out here. So it's going to be Mega Man versus Lucario on our, as our first match. Uh, and again, Vivi, no introduction. He just has already been on stream and is just uh, one of New York's best players. So he's just banning all the Star Wars stages. That's not funny. Little well, yeah, well, we are, we, we are <laughs> yep. banning all the Star Wars stages because we're, go, we're gentlemaning to Small yep. Battlefield, which is technically a um, the counterpick stage. However, uh, a lot of our players just like going here first. So yeah, I, th I think it's nice. Yeah. I, I think it's a good. It, I think it's better than PS2. Yeah, it, okay. it, it, it is generally considered to be a very very neutral stage. I generally would probably say it is a little bit more. Um, you know, I can't wait for the day to play PS2 counterpick. I think it'll be very funny. Yeah, I mean, I just can we do I, it for one Zeno? Just time. time. I, I I think that the the big difference is obviously the length of the stage. PS2 is massive, and this stage is not. Yep. Um. And you know, it's it's one of those things where I think this stage generally speaking, I think smaller stages, while of course they do benefit certain characters, smaller stages are going to be a little bit more neutral than bigger stages. I think characters with you know. You know, zone, zoning potential really do benefit hard from big stages. And characters on smaller stages, you know, certainly benefit, but not to the same degree that uh, zoners do on large stages. Yeah, I agree. You can kind of see what's going on right now with Mega Man. He's not able to do any of the uh, the usual things that you, you typically get to see on like a PS2 or like a TNC yeah. um, or Kalos. You yeah. know, you're risking a lot of dead. more. Oh. Uh, no, just That's not dead. getting it. Uh, we're seeing a lot more of that uh, close up, up close combat gameplay in favor of VB. Yeah. You're just forced to be so close to your opponent and really good match out of that grab. Okay, double up air. Not gonna be enough. Okay, air dodge is out there. Smart by Vivi. Oh, nice roll read in by Edwin. The reaction was so fast. Ooh, we're not gonna get that metal blade into. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Bye. Yeah, and, and Vivi is so scary in that situation because, you know, he has full charge. Oh, you're taking a lot of damage. Oh, no. Okay, 23, not that bad. Um, but you not have to get the car. What is. Well, oh, what is dodge. going on with Vivi recently where he's SDing for no reason? A society if we stopped air dodging like off the stage. I I like, That's what happened. Like, it's literally been every event that I've or every game that I've seen him play at this Wednesday and today, he's done an SD at like some inordinately low percent and it's just like why? <laughs> why? Vivi, answer the question. Why? It almost doesn't really matter though, because like even though they did uh, SD at that point, it didn't really phase them at whatsoever. You know, they were really at a really high percentage. It wasn't too much of a st of a, of a uh, you know a throw if you did SD at 115 percent, um, or 130, whatever. But Vivi's clearly taking the lead right now. You know, we okay, Vivi, you got you got not get hit so many times, so I can actually like compliment yeah. you. Yeah, but no, that's the thing. The uh, with that, you know, Lucario, the cl there we classic go. is Lucario is not a real character until he hits like 70, yeah. 80. Um, and that's like when Lucario was not a real character, you can play neutral against him really well, um, like kind of sort of preventing him from getting a whole lot done. Even at this late percent, that Nair still not killing, but the Mega Man absolutely yep. had to go high there and could not get back to the stage. Vivi doing an excellent job of covering that with the Aura Sphere. Absolutely, I've always mentioned this about Lucario. The more the, the, he's climbing the, the ranks of the tier list, and the, the higher his percentages. Okay. Do you think so? Absolutely. I think this character is kind of bad, but I think oh, Vivi he's, is he's nasty. bad in I general. Think Vivi is nasty. I think. This but Vivi, kind of the way that Vivi maneuvers with Lucario is beautiful. The big reverses, the baby able to smove like like do the extreme speed to a way out a way I get away from his opponent yeah. is amazing it's it's great but Lucario is a scary opponent only because of that aura sphere um, factor yeah. and Ooh, okay. like even still surviving up to this percentage and not getting this, this age of it's okay yeah it's a scary situation here um, for Edwin you are 130 you know, 130 Lucario oh you can punish that my friend that, oh, is, that, get, is, oh, not no, a, that is not a that is not a Okay, so we, we don't know the matchup, okay? <laughs> no, you're right. A, a, lot, a lot of this is punishable. Obviously, it's Lucario. How often are you fighting this character when it's not Vivi? Exactly. Um, literally never, right? Um, so, uh, definitely some adaptations that need to be made here. Uh, however, um, okay, Z drop. Then Vivi going for the bounce off. Really good right there. Uh, you're gonna die. You're going to die. Vivi has a good setup for every ready die. right here. You're Although if he does, yeah, you're dead. Oh, oh my goodness! Uh, the the Orsphere there did not connect there. Okay. Mm -hmm. God, you, you don't know the matchup. Okay. I don't <laughs> it's know okay. the matchup. It's okay. No one knows this matchup. What? But like, what is this? Okay, the other person go. who knows it is probably Vivi. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> they play, they play <laughs> everybody. That's the stock. Um, but let's see. Now that you took the stock off of Lucario, this is a significantly better position. Um, okay, gonna get back to stage. 
Um, okay, oh, looking my. for that tech roll in yeah. for sure. Um, but now again, Lucario is not a real character just yet. So if you can take that stock off very soon, you know, at, at an early percent mark, mm -hmm. you can do it over oh, back your situation. They're really scary. The thing is that we'll start killing now. You know, obviously all of Lucario smash attacks, but um, you know, or sphere at the ledge might start killing now. Um, you might oh, back it so. back yeah. air will start killing now. And now with a li tiny little bit of aura, yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, now everything. Oh, now, now, now we're now died. we're now we're game. We have everyone at one five percent. We have EBI. Or, they know that 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 oranges percentage. Yeah. So definitely has uh, some of real character in the moment. And something like aura sphere, like you were saying, will definitely kill. Uh, I'm sure Vivi is likely fishing for some kind of back air. Or be reverse okay. like pressure or shield pressure with aura sphere. So I'm definitely trying to see something like that happen. But we're seeing a lot of just like back and forth, and Edward oh. trying to close this stock so quickly as much as he can because he does not want to deal with with uh big right now. But there we go, Ooh. getting that boom bam bop. And that's the thing. There's Lucario's a ground speed is really good. His dash specifically is really really good. Um, and you can see Lucario kind of dashes back and forth here with um, the Aura Sphere. Vivi is really well known for doing that, and it baits out a getup attack. That last stock, you're going to see this here. I'm just going to pause just for one second here. Mm -hmm. So in this situation, you're going to see Vivi's going to run up to ledge with an Aura Sphere, or actually with a down air in this situation, and then Lucario can immediately dash back to bait out the getup attack, charge Aura Sphere, Punish with the, with the Aura Sphere there. Crazy. Right? It's it's re really just th that movement from Lucario, how good his dashes are, make that situation like really, really good. And it's the same sort of thing there. You you bait out the the, the neutral get up with the dash away Aura Sphere. Bait shield because you're charging Aura Sphere and he doesn't want to get hit by because he's going to die. And then you just dash up side B. Take the stop. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so Vivi in this situation, getting a solid start. Again, it is never really that big a deal when Lucario gets these sort of big leads. Obviously, you want to be in this position as Lucario so that when you do have Rage, you can just take the stock. But, um, you know, you are never in a bad situation if you like took 50% versus Lucario to start mm -hmm. the game. You can take the game as slow as you need to versus this character. And it's why we saw last game, there was about a minute left on the clock. Yeah, I, I agree with you. You know, Vivi doesn't have to, have to worry about uh, their own percentage until really... They get to like that like actual character moment, yeah. uh, and Edward, Edward has to do has to just, has to have a really good combo game going just to close out EVP stock before he's able before they're able to even like use their aura, you know. So what whatever they're doing right now, whatever is doing in order to just like throwing up a, bu bu a bunch of projectiles is doing is doing wonders for him right now. Okay, back air, um, not gonna be able to catch Edwin. Uh, Edwin has been chilling at ledge for a decent amount of time before doing. Uh, any sort of option, being very, very patient to avoid those options for Vivi. I think there is a little bit of an adaptation coming out here. Ooh, Why? but wow, catching wow. it on the jump right there, even though the stall was active, full orcs are going to be able to take the stock. Vivi in a great position here. You're in an excellent, you know, are only at 89%, so you're not really that close to death yet as a party, especially versus a character like Mega Man. Yeah, you're in a good position here. And now we're just kind of doing a little bit of setup. Uh, Edwin has a little bit of catching up to do in order to really take out this, this game for himself. Has to get in the, no matter how, but of course, Vivi's doing all these aura spheres and keeping Edwin at a really uh, manageable distance in order to not get himself, you know, dead. Yeah. You know? And yeah, that, that dash I just did like 15. So we're, we're in official spooky territory for this character. Aura <laughs> sphere yeah. will, will absolutely start making the spooky noise. However, we're going to get poked there by the back air. And that's going to take the stock. And we are once again at a fairly even uh, range here. This is much more much more manageable for Edwin. Now they, have, they don't really have to worry about dying right now. Yeah. Uh, BB's at. Maybe he's not a character right no, now, unfortunately. No. Uh, that, that's the thing with uh, Lucario, is that, um, you know, the worst situation to be against Lucario is you lost the second stock after he took your first stock at high aura, right? This is not too bad. Uh, scare situation at ours here went right through the crash bomb. Okay, back here to catch a jump in. Edwin has been good in the corner. Has definitely made it difficult for Vivi to get out, but Vivi has managed to get out almost every time without losing his stock, which is a big deal. Yeah, you can get all the damage in the world you there want versus Lucario, but a roll read in is going to be enough on the back air. And that's going to be Vivi taking that last, uh, that second stock, now looking forward to that last stock. And even better position this time around, even lower percent uh, dif differential between that, this one and that first stock. But a great Z drop by Edwin, not working out though. Yeah, Edwin had a really good setup going in, the mo in that moment. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out the way that he was probably intending it to, and oh, eating the no percentage for it. But Vivi said that's kind of a little bit of a scary percentage where. Edwin can death, Edwin's stock can definitely take in right now, or uh, if you listen like, you know, aura sphere pressure uh, on shield into like back air or, you know, a, a palm strike. 
anything like that. Even a counter uh, might, might, might not kill, but will do a bunch of damage on Edwin. It's just find what move Mega Man does to be countered, you know? Okay. Yeah. Oh, just, just a raw... Oh, okay. no, not, did, not yet, not yet. Did no. not die, but uh, the read... Yeah, yeah, you see that? That's the bait that Vivi goes for right there. Dash up Aura Sphere, dash back Aura Sphere. And it catches so many people. Um, it's such a good ledge trap tool. Back here trying to catch the neutral get up again. Does not end up falling for it that time. Edwin very, very patient with the get up attack. This is huge. You have to get this stock off now. Um, almost anything Vivi touches you with here will just take that stock. Those Aura Spheres are 100%. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, that was, that's a huge... Yeah. Huge. Try to go for like a Shoryuken style kill. De yeah, desperation and, swing. Yep, desperation swing, a Hail Mary, anything like that. And VV was just like, you're gonna miss me so hard. Yeah, how close were we to maybe landing on the platform here? Oh, Very. yeah, Very. we were super close there to landing on platform. didn't get the drift, I think? Or was it just. Yeah, I mean, Mega Man's air drift after yeah. that is really, really bad. This is super close. Obviously, the goal here as Mega Man is to land on the platform. You're still punishable. You might get, like, Lucario fared or naired, but you're probably not going to die. Those two moves from Lucario are really weak. Um, but yeah, you're seeing just barely goes past the platform there. Not going to be able to land on it. Mega Man's drift is really bad from there. Mm -hmm. Vivi just goes reacts. down. Boom. Down smash. Down smash. That's stuck. Um, overall, though, uh, nice gameplay from Edwin. We're going to have to see, you know, how he does later, later on into the bracket. Vivi obviously playing very well. They've been playing super well, as always. Um, and Lucario looking strong today. With that said, um, we do have to make a caster swap here. Really quick caster swap. We'll, 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 we'll probably be back. We're still in back. pools. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. There's no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still in pools. We're still in pools. Yeah. I'm not in pools. Y'all stay safe out there. Other side of bracket. Make sure you stay tuned for, for that. Uh, coming up, actually, not going to be the other side of bracket, but it is going to be a new, a new set coming up. Um, some excellent uh, talent coming up. It's going to be SPT versus Syrup. Syrup's really good.